All right, this is a, another demo of a proof of concept. Um, so this is something that's actually been discussed and uh, actually Frederick had the original idea, um, but I had some time to play with it and I, just, I uh, talked through it with him and I've got the proof of concept working um, along with another idea I had. So one of the requests has been uh, making the color change function a little bit more uh, sensitive. Um, so this is a new color zoom option. Um, and what it is, is it's gonna work like, it's basically uses the color wheel. Um, so this is for color wheel options. Um, so I'm going to go into color change, and within color change, you have all possible colors within a 360 degree turn. And you know you can turn your hilt quick or slow, but it, it's going through 32 768 colors based on a 360 degree rotation. What color zoom is going to do is it actually lets you change that uh, factor of the 360 degree turn so that you can dial in even tighter and how it works. So red in particular has been one that people say they have a hard time with. So with red, this is basically about red, but just a slight turn and it gets purpley, and a slight turn the other direction gets a little yellowy. So what what's I'm going to go slightly past the factor. With the new color zoom capability, you're going to, instead of just pressing the power button, you're going to actually hold on to it. And for as long as you hold the power button, it's going to zoom the 360 degrees in by a factor that you can actually set. So this is a little orangey. So I'm going to hold my power button, and what that does now is it actually lets me move the blade a little bit easier to get specific color. And it's basically just zooming in that 360 degrees till I get the exact red I want, and I can lock it in. And you can, it, it basically makes it more sensitive while the power button's held. Once the power button is released, it then locks the color in. Um, now I can go back into the mode. And I can do it with any color. So say that there's kind of a specific green I was going after, or we'll go after a bluish. So you can get close to the color in here, and then just keep your power button held. And what that does is it slows the change of the color so that the rotation, so a larger rotation is used to change that color. And it lets you dial that color in a little bit more. So that's getting a little more to the purple I want. And then when you release, it will then lock that color in. Um, and there's going to be a zoom factor that you can set, so you can make it less sensitive, more sensitive, depending on your personal preference. Um, and then another new option that I've added is actually a color revert. Um, and what that does is it remembers what the original color of that style was. So this originally was a green. Say I don't want to have to trigger all the way back to green. I can go into color change. And instead of having to find the color I want, I can actually just press the aux button and it's going to go right back to the original base color. So it just jumps back to the um, green that the blade was. So uh, color zoom is going to make it easier for you to dial to a specific color. Again, you hold that power button to really tighten that range of motion, or actually it makes the range of motion less sensitive so that it's not 3200 colors in a 360 degrees. It actually adds a factor to let you change that uh, turning. Um, and then the color revert is going to let you, if you, you know, you could play with color changes as much as you want, but you can always jump right back to what that original blade was when you loaded it up. So you can go, you know, play around with your colors, get to close to one that you like. So we'll get close to that red again, being the one that seems to give people the most trouble. Hold my power button. Now I can get to the specific color with a little bit less movement and lock it in. And I can use that color for as much as I want. And then if I ever decide, hey, you know what, I want to go back to my original green blade, I'll just go into color change, press aux right back to my original green color. So I'm um, still playing around with uh, everything, but it's been working great. Um, obviously, the original idea was Frederick, so I can't take credit for the color zoom. That was uh, his idea, but I kind of took it and worked on it and uh, worked on the code with him and got his input. Um, and then the, the revert was something that I had wanted, so I've added that as well. Um, so it's another uh, proof of concept. It'll be uh, probably a future update, um, but I've got it working. Now it's time to finish testing it out and get everything uh, good to go. But uh, something else coming to Profi, so hope you enjoy.